Henri Cartier-Bresson was a French photojournalist and master of the miniature Leica 35 millimeter camera. Photojournalism is using photographs to tell a story. Cartier-Bresson worked during the golden age of photojournalism, which was 1930 through 1950s. And this is a period in which many newspapers and magazines such as Life built their huge readerships and reputations largely on their use of photography. Like a writer, a photojournalist is a reporter, but he or she must often make decisions instantly. An important innovation for photojournalists was the invention of the Leica camera in Germany in 1925. The Leica was designed as a way to use surplus movie film, which was shot in the 35 millimeter format. This large roll format allowed numerous photos to be shot in succession without having to reload sheets of film. Before the Leica, professional quality photographs required bulky equipment. After the invention of the Leica, Photographers could go just about anywhere and take photos unobtrusively. They didn't need to have lights, tripods, lots of extra film with them. So there was a dramatic difference that occurred. And we can see that here in this image of Henri Cartier-Bresson with his Leica camera. It is very small. Cartier-Bresson always had his camera on him so that he would be ready to take a picture no matter what happened. We can compare him with one of his contemporary photojournalists, Margaret Burke White. And we see here, you know, as she is taking images from on top of the Chrysler building, you know, she is not going to be sneaking up on anybody with her camera. Cartier-Bresson was started working in the early 1930s. And he was the first to pick up the Leica as a professional device and he used it to create what is one of the hallmarks of his style, which is called the decisive moment. The decisive moment is the moment at which all elements come into harmony to tell a story. It's not necessarily the height of the action of a photo, but the decisive moment is the moment when everything is in the right place. So we can see this in this photograph of a staircase and a bicyclist going by that you know, if the photographer had waited a split second sooner, the bicyclist would be blocked out by the railing. If he had waited a split second later, the bicyclist would be gone. So the decisive moment in this case is when that bicyclist was perfectly framed between the building and the edge of the staircase. So many people would say, well, Curdy Brayson, he just happened to be in the right place at the right time. He actually happened to be in the right place just before the right time. What we also don't see is that Cartier-Bresson did not just take one photograph. Many times he would take multiple photographs, you know, at least 15 to 20. He would make a contact sheet and then he would choose that one, that one that showed the decisive moment.